Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, it's been a bit busy lately, I uh, had an exam. Uh, what is now yesterday, it's about half an hour till two in the morning. And uh, today, later on sometime, I go away for a military exam. And then I start the Easter holidays and sort of proper revising for my other exams. And so I'm not going to say this is sort of the last video I'll make for a while, but um, I won't be sticking to as many uploads as I have been making. And recently I've got into quite a few good discussions, uh, one with a friend of a friend who was a very odd Christian priest and one who was um, some street preachers. I always love arguing with street preachers. It's great to use their tactics against them. But I, did, I, I, I was going to do a video about that, but then I decided against it and I thought I'd do something much more fun to leave you with than me discussing theology and that is beer review uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale as recommended uh, by Deer Hunter P um, I actually was looking into um, ordering a bunch of beers I wanted to try all sorts of overseas beers that I didn't think I would be able to find off an internet supplier it was very pricey as so I was in my local supermarket and uh, there it was. So um, it is Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, alcohol 5.6 by volume, uh, made with the purest ingredients of the finest quality, a completely natural ale. So it's been a long hard day, let's crack it open. It's got a very nice, mmm, that has got a lovely fruity smell, not very much like other pale ales though. I don't know if it's meant to be an Indian pale ale or if they're, they just mean a not dark ale. It's only 350 mil, yeah. When I did my stereotypes video, I did say everything was bigger in Texas except the pints, and that's true for all American things. Um, their pints aren't as big, and their bottles neither. But that has got a lovely, lovely fruity flavour, and you can see that that is a pale ale. It's a lovely sort of golden colour. It's coming out a lot more red on my monitor, so I um, apologise for that, but it is a lovely... Um, colour of clear refined honey. And the first flavour on the mouth is a very crisp flavour. It's very, not tart, but clean. It's got a lovely, um, this is the sort of drink I'd have after a long hot day. It's um, yeah, got a lovely, lovely crisp flavour to it. But after that, it stops being quite so crisp, and I think it's definitely in the nose is is quite a bit of fruit, um, sort of. Maybe even a little sorrel. Do you, do, do you know the sort of the citrusy, the non-specific citrus flavour of sorrel? That is really nice. Thank, thank you for the recommendation. Um, Diana P has been um, described me for a long time, so. Cheers, man. Uh, this is a good beer. It's got... see what the bottle does tell me. Um, it doesn't say what malts. But no, I, I, I strongly recommend this as a beer. I apologise for having some dead air there, but there'll be more as I down this. 
That really is a nice beer. Has very, very refreshing taste. Not very much like a traditional Indian pale ale, in my opinion, but um, it shares a few characteristics, which, which, which it, it, it's certainly very nice and um, certainly goes against the stereotypical um, love in a canoe of a um, American beer, which um, is not true. This, this is a very nice American brewed beer. So, as I said, I will probably be making the odd video over Easter and the run up to my exams, but I don't expect anything half so regular as uh, I have been doing. And I hope you all have a very good Easter, and I shall see you around. Bye, YouTube.